a tradition disrupted the king's plate postponed. The king's plate is a cherished Canadian tradition, deeply rooted in the nation's history and culture. It is the oldest horse race in North America, a testament to the enduring love for the sport. The race has run continuously since 1860, making it a significant part of the country's sporting heritage. This year, however, the tradition faced an unexpected disruption that left many fans and participants disappointed. Heavy rains, unprecedented in recent years, forced the postponement of the 165th running of the King's Plate. The race was originally scheduled for Saturday, August 19, 2024, at the iconic Woodbine Racetrack in Toronto. However, the weather had other plans, bringing torrential downpours that made the event impossible to hold. The decision to postpone was not made lightly, as it involved careful consideration and consultation with various stakeholders. Woodbine Entertainment, the organizers of the race, prioritized safety above all else, ensuring that no risks were taken. The heavy rains made the track unsafe for both horses and jockeys, posing significant hazards that could not be ignored. The postponement marked a significant moment in the history of the King's Plate, a rare occurrence in its long and storied past. It highlighted the unpredictable nature of live events and the importance of adapting to unforeseen circumstances, reminding everyone involved of the need for flexibility and resilience. Fans and participants expressed their disappointment but understood the necessity of the decision, acknowledging that safety must always come first. The horses were led back to their stables, and jockeys discussed the challenging weather conditions, reflecting on the day's events. Organizers are now working diligently to reschedule the event, ensuring that the King's Plate will return with all its glory and excitement. Despite the setback, the anticipation for the rescheduled race is building, with fans eagerly looking forward to witnessing the historic event once again. As the storm clouds clear, the spirit of the King's Plate remains unbroken ready to shine once more on a brighter day. Unrelenting rains force a difficult decision. Toronto experienced unusually heavy rainfall on the day of the scheduled race. The downpour started in the early hours and continued throughout the day. By midday, it was clear that the race was in jeopardy. The track was becoming increasingly waterlogged. The heavy rains created unsafe racing conditions. Woodbine entertainment officials monitored the situation closely. They consulted with racing stewards and veterinarians. The decision to postpone was made with the well-being of the horses and jockeys in mind. It was a difficult choice, but the right one. Safety first, the priority for horses and jockeys. The safety of the horses and jockeys is paramount in horse racing. Woodbine Entertainment made this clear in their decision to postpone the King's Plate. Running the race in such conditions would have been irresponsible. The waterlogged track posed several risks. Horses could have easily lost their footing, leading to falls and injuries. The heavy rain also reduced visibility, making it harder for jockeys to navigate the course safely. The decision to postpone was met with understanding from those involved. Trainers, jockeys, and owners recognized that safety had to be the priority. While they were disappointed, they respected the decision and looked forward to the rescheduled race. Rescheduling the King's Plate, a tight timeline. Following the postponement, Woodbine Entertainment acted quickly to reschedule the King's Plate. They announced that the race would be run on Friday, August 23rd. This new date aimed to minimize disruption to the racing calendar. It also provided a new date for fans to witness the historic race. The quick rescheduling was a testament to the organization's commitment to the race and its stakeholders. They worked tirelessly to ensure that the postponed King's Plate would still be a success. The new date, however, created a tight timeline, especially considering the King's Plate is the first leg of the Canadian Triple Crown. Section 5. The Canadian Triple Crown – Navigating the Changes The Canadian Triple Crown is one of the most prestigious series in horse racing, consisting of three challenging races that test the endurance and skill of both horses and their trainers. The King's Plate is the first jewel in the Canadian Triple Crown. This race, steeped in history and tradition, sets the stage for the entire series. Winning the King's Plate is a significant achievement and a dream for many in the horse racing community. It is followed by the Prince of Wales Stakes and the Breeders' Stakes. Each race presents its own unique set of challenges, requiring horses to adapt quickly to different tracks and conditions. The postponement of the King's Plate had implications for the entire Triple Crown series. 
The delay caused a ripple effect, forcing organizers to reschedule the subsequent races and compress the overall timeline. The Prince of Wales Stakes is scheduled for September 10th at Fort Erie Racetrack. This race, known for its challenging dirt track, is a crucial second leg in the Triple Crown Series. The Breeders' Stakes is set for September 29th at Woodbine. This final race run on a turf track often determines the overall champion of the Triple Crown. The compressed schedule presented challenges for horses aiming to compete in all three races. Trainers had to adjust their training regimens and ensure their horses were in peak condition for each race. Trainers had to carefully assess their horses' conditions, monitoring their health and stamina closely. The physical and mental well-being of the horses became a top priority and make difficult decisions about participation. Some trainers had to withdraw their horses from certain races to prevent injury or overexertion. Despite the challenges, the horse racing community showed resilience. Owners, trainers, jockeys and fans came together, demonstrating their passion and commitment to the sport. They adapted to the changes and focused on the remaining races. The spirit of competition and camaraderie remained strong, driving everyone to give their best. The postponement highlighted the unpredictable nature of the sport. Weather conditions, track surfaces, and other unforeseen factors can all impact the outcome of a race and the need for flexibility. The ability to adapt and respond to changes is crucial in horse racing, ensuring that both horses and their teams can navigate the challenges and continue to compete at the highest level. Section 6. Voices from the Track reactions to the postponement. The postponement of the King's Plate sparked reactions from across the horse racing community. Trainers, jockeys, and Woodbine entertainment officials all shared their thoughts on the decision. It's disappointing but the right call, said Mark Cassie, a leading Canadian trainer. You can't race in those conditions, the safety of the horses and riders comes first. Jockey Emma Jane Wilson echoed Cassie's sentiments. It's unfortunate, but it's the right decision, she said. We all want to compete, but not at the risk of anyone's safety. Jim Lawson, CEO of Woodbine Entertainment, emphasized the importance of safety. The well-being of the horses and riders is paramount, he said. We made the difficult decision to postpone the race in the best interests of everyone involved. Section 7. Weather and Horse Racing, A Complex Relationship Weather plays a crucial role in horse racing. Track conditions can significantly impact a horse's performance. Heavy rain, like that experienced on the scheduled day of the King's Plate, can make the track unsafe. Horses can lose their footing on a muddy track. This can lead to falls and injuries. Visibility is also reduced in heavy rain, making it difficult for jockeys to see where they are going. Race courses have drainage systems to mitigate the effects of rain. However, these systems can be overwhelmed by extreme weather events. The postponement of the King's Plate highlighted the ongoing challenge of managing weather-related risks in horse racing. Section 8. The King's Plate, a legacy of resilience. The King's Plate has a long and storied history. It has seen its share of challenges over the years. However, the race has always persevered. The postponement of the 165th running was just another chapter in its legacy of resilience. The race has overcome world wars, economic downturns, and now, extreme weather. The King's Plate is a testament to the enduring spirit of horse racing and its ability to adapt to changing circumstances. The postponement of the 2024 King's Plate served as a reminder that even the most established traditions must be flexible. It highlighted the importance of adapting to unforeseen circumstances while preserving the spirit of the event. Section 9, Looking Ahead, Anticipation for the Rescheduled Race The postponement of the King's Plate was undoubtedly a disappointment. The weather had been uncooperative, and the decision to delay the race was made with heavy hearts. Fans who had traveled from far and wide were left with a sense of longing and frustration. However, it also fueled anticipation for the rescheduled race. The delay, while disheartening, gave everyone something to look forward to. The excitement began to build anew, with fans eagerly discussing the upcoming event and speculating on the potential outcomes. Fans, eager to witness the historic event, marked their calendars for August 23rd. Social media buzzed with conversations about the new date and ticket sales surged as people made plans to attend. The anticipation was palpable, with everyone counting down the days. The horses and jockeys were ready to compete. The track was prepared. 
trainers and jockeys used the extra time to fine-tune their strategies and ensure their horses were in peak condition. The atmosphere was electric, with a sense of readiness and determination in the air. The stage was set for a memorable running of the 165th King's Plate. The preparations were meticulous, with every detail carefully considered to ensure a flawless event. The starting gate stood ready, a symbol of the thrilling competition to come. The rescheduled event promised to be a celebration of resilience, sportsmanship, and the enduring legacy of Canada's oldest horse race. It was more than just a race, it was a testament to the spirit of the sport and the community that supports it. The King's Plate, despite the delay, would go on. The horses would thunder down the track, their hooves pounding in unison, driven by the determination of their jockeys. The race would be a spectacle of speed, skill, and strategy. It would be a testament to the enduring spirit of the sport and the unwavering passion of those who make it possible. The trainers, jockeys, and fans all played a crucial role in bringing the event to life, their dedication shining through in every moment. The horses would run, the crowds would cheer, and a champion would be crowned. The tradition would continue. The King's Plate would once again prove why it holds a special 